Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, um, I've got a retirement plan going, and I just mm. was wondering maybe uh, if I could get your take on how I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, okay. I'm sure it has to do with working hard, putting in 25 plus years. Right. Right. Collect a pension. Financial planner. Yeah, I got yeah. a financial no. plan. No, none of that. No, okay. I'm just going to, um, I got $2 and I'm going to buy a lotto ticket. Dang. Can yeah. I go in? Because I've got $2. You got $2. $2. That's $4 towards this. Well, I'll tell you what. I am really going to hedge our bet here. On our show today, we have the most winningest numbers in lotto history. And we're going to share those numbers with you next on Men Are So Smart. And the winningest lotto numbers of all time are... And three. <laughs> so there you have it. If you play those numbers right there, it's sure that... No, I'm, just, I'm fooling around right. with you here. Okay, yeah. look. We had a glitch. Here, based on the past, are the numbers... You should pick your five numbers from of these seven. Okay, Ronnie, yeah. here we go. All right. 31. I like that one. 49. That's one I that's, usually play. I always play 49. 41. Mm -hmm. 29. Okay. 28. Right. 17 right. and 2. Wow. Okay, and so now I'm going to have those those numbers run across the screen, screen right here so you can write them down. You don't have to memorize them. Uh, those numbers, Ronnie, came up most often according to a market watch review of previous winning numbers. Well, there's the reason I never win. My numbers are based on 49ers. Okay. So at 49, I always play. Uh huh. At eight for Steve Young. Okay. 16 Joe Montana. Right. 42 Ronnie Lott. Uh huh. And then I oh, and then I usually pick uh, a couple birthdays for the kids. Okay. But, Right. I I always play. Those are, are my four numbers that are always played. Uh, but not a full line of them. You just have four. That... I have I have three of my favorite 49ers and the number 49. Okay. All right. Yeah. Those numbers came up most often, and they looked at the data since October of 2013, when the lottery moved towards the modern format. Uh, one caveat to this is last year the game moved from 75 possible numbers to 70, which increases your odds a little bit more, uh, decreases your odds right. a little bit more. Uh, but with all that set aside, mm -hmm. you have to choose your own Powerball. Yeah, we can't give you that. Right. Okay. Uh, actually, there's no idea what numbers are going to come up tonight any more than your financial advisor knows <laughs> what the stock market is really going to do in the next year I don't have or one. the year after that. Uh-huh. Uh, although my financial advisor, he's hit it pretty good. Uh, so I don't know. Mega million drawings are they're random, obviously. Stark, stark market, stark stock market <laughs> returns. Wow, that's easy to say. Yeah, for most people at least, uh, are or may or may not be somewhat random. Those playing must pick five numbers between one and seventy, plus one mega ball number between one. and and 25. You can just let the machine pick the numbers for you randomly, which sometimes works. Yep. A lot of times, a actually. A lot of times does, yep. Or you can play some numbers that have some personal meanings, as Ronnie has mentioned. Right. Or which came to you in a vision. Oh, dang. <laughs> so they went back and they looked at what numbers came up most often. Mm -hmm. Why not? Okay. Uh, Wall Street is always doing that, True. even while they're telling you past performance is no guarantee of the future. And your mileage may vary. <laughs> and what they've left out are the Mega Ball, because last year they changed the possible numbers from 15 to 25 oh, so possible that, Mega Numbers. That just made so the that odds blows, worse. That actually blows the yeah. odds way up more. And that's mm -hmm. why the, the jackpots are actually getting so much higher than they ever used to be. It makes sense. What was the last? There was one that was $500 million. A bill, there was a billion one recently. Oh, my God. A billion dollars. Yeah. Yep. One billion dollars. <laughs> Imagine if you had to give 40% to taxes. It wouldn't hurt at all, really. I could care less. <laughs> You still have a lot of money. You and you know the question. $600 million. Where does that money actually go? 
and don't tell me it's going to the schools, and you sure as shit know it's not going to the highways. It's not going to road repair, not around here at least. <laughs> I saw a pothole, a two-bedroom, three-bath uh, pothole the other day. How yeah, much it was, was that it going was reasonable. for? Fourteen hundred. Yeah, there was a bidding contest okay, on gotcha. it. Gotcha. Yeah. Multiple bids. Yep. Well, naturally, if these numbers don't come up, you can't blame Ronnie and I. No. Let's face it. We tried. You wouldn't hand over the money if you won. Right. <laughs> if you do win, tell your spouse. It could cost you dearly otherwise. You could end up like Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although he didn't do so bad. No. Uh, all right. So there you go. Let's give those numbers one more time, Ronnie. Yep. Uh, 31. Yep. 49. Right. 41. 29. 28. 17. And 2. Peace. Uh, I could give the numbers. I could pick the numbers that my grandson would pick. If he were playing, and he would go one, two, eight, nine, I would play that one, two, eight, nine. The kid's a genius. All right. Well, I don't know if you play. Ronnie, do you play very often? Vicky plays every week. Oh, she does. Yeah. And does she play the Powerball, the Mega Millions? She buys two tickets, so mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's probably one of each okay. of those. Yeah. And she, I would imagine. Uh, has her own numbers that she chooses. I'm to, not right? sure if she quick picks them or has her own set numbers. Yeah, whatever it is, it's not working. Here's the way I look at it: that jackpot we spoke of that was nearly a billion dollars. Right. Here's why I don't play. Uh, because if I won that billion dollar jackpot, right, I could only pay off half of my debt. <laughs> yeah, there's no sense. No nah. sense doing that. And they say, you know, here's what I don't understand about Lotto. Maybe you can explain this because you're okay. you're a smart guy. It says so on the screen. I am. Okay. Um, it says that you can't win if you don't play. True. So my theory is if I play, I should win. It seems that way. Yeah, to me it does. It's kind of that same thing that basketball players say. You miss 100% of the shots you that you don't, don't take. take. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's that same theory. Mm. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I, 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 You know what? I am just not a lucky guy when it comes to gambling, Ron. I am not a lucky guy. And so it's I, it's in my head. I've told you before that when the, the missus and I go to some sort of a gambling facility, right. I'll walk past a hundred tables and a thousand slot machines to get to a private little club where there's live music playing. Yes. I won't even drop drop a quarter. Yeah. Because I know. And, and you say, well, what about the fun? Okay, that's fun. Sure, maybe $10 and quarters I'll, I'll play or something. But I just, I don't gamble. And I have to tell you, Vicky gambles a lot and she wins. Quite a, a lot. bit. Yeah, she wins quite a bit. She's had one, she won $11,000 one day. Um, but for me, and then so because she's a, kind of a big spender, they always increase the limit, you know, on her card. They're giving her lunches and, you know, free points. And, you know, they put money on her card, actually. So I went to a luncheon for retirees a couple weeks ago at one of the gambling places. We have it there at Buffet. And she send, sends me a text and goes, hey, I've got $40 of free money on my card, which I had her card with me. She goes, play it off because it's only good Monday through Thursday. So I, I, yeah, okay. And then I left. I didn't play. Yeah. Even having free money just doesn't appeal to me. I don't, uh, I don't get any joy or satisfaction out of pushing that button. And I don't, I don't know. It's... Well, there is a long story, which I will save you from. Uh, Ronnie already knows this, but uh, there is a reason why I don't gamble. Oh. At one point, I lost, almost lost something that was very, very near and dear to me. Not someone, something. Yep. And so since that point, I've just sworn off of gambling. But, you know, when the jackpot gets to be that high, I, I think we've talked about this once before. If the drawing is on, let's say, Monday, on Sunday... Um, I'll buy a ticket and I'll have the whole day to think, just think, <laughs> I could be holding the winning ticket what until they draw the numbers. Right. Right. Yeah. And then I'm just like everyone else. Yeah. And, and I, I, there are times when I'll pick five quick, uh, quick picks yeah. and not even get one number. Oh. Yeah. 
Seriously, that's how bad my luck is when it comes to gambling. Yeah. All right. Well, we hope that you'll have better luck when you gamble. Yeah. And you know what? Give this a try. These numbers, I'll give them to you one more time. 31, 49, 41, 29, 28, 17, and 2. And Hike! We, uh, and, oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can flash back at any moment. Uh, you got to pick your own Powerball. Yeah. Ronnie, you want to pick a number for a Powerball? I'm going to go seven. Seven. All right. Yeah. Seven it is. That's what Ron's uh, Lucky seven. encouraging you. We hope you enjoyed today's show. Maybe you learned something from it or just had a couple of laughs with us. We we really would appreciate it if you'd like the show. And um, while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications uh, when our new shows come out. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Thanks for watching today. This has been another episode of Men Are So Smart. 